द प्लेनर ज्योमेट्री इज लाइक ओ ओ एंड विल शो ओ एच दिस इज द एक्सपेक्टेड प्लेनर ज्योमेट्री ऑफ एच एन ओ थ्री नाइट्रिक एसिड विल हैव डिफरेंट बॉन्ड लेंथ एंड डिफरेंट बॉन्ड एंगल्स लाइक ओ एच बॉन्ड लेंथ विल शो नियरली नाइंटी सिक्स आर नाइंटी एट पी पी पिकोमीटर्स नाइंटी एट पिकोमीटर्स ऑफ बॉन्ड एंगल एक्सपेक्टेड बिटवीन ओ एच बॉन्ड वेर एज ओ एन बॉन्ड लेंथ इज वन फोर्टी पॉइंट सिक्स पिकोमीटर्स वेर एज एन ओ बॉन्ड लेंथ इज वन ट्वेंटी वन पिकोमीटर्स एंड वो एच एन बॉन्ड एंगल आइडेंटिफाइड टू बी वन नॉट टू डिग्रीज एंड एन ओ ओ बॉन्ड एंगल आइडेंटिफाइड टू बी वन थर्टी डिग्रीज सो दिस इज द जोमेट्री एक्सिबिटेड बाय दिस नेक्स्ट वन इन लिक्विड स्टेट इन लिक्विड स्टेट इट एक्ट्स एज Strong oxidizing agent. Strong oxidizing agent. And also, nitric acid is. It is a strong acid. Nitric acid is a strong acid because when nitric acid dissolved in water. nitric acid dissolved in water it produces hydronium ions what are the resulting ions hydronium ions the strong acid character for nitric acid resulting due to the formation of hydronium ions when they dissolved in water followed by as per this as per this statement in liquid state nitric as nitric acid will works as strong oxidizing agent it is it can oxidize it can oxidize various metal metals and non metals it can oxidize various metals and non metals let us have some examples when nitric uh, nitric acid एच एन ओ थ्री नाइट्रिक एसिड रियाक्स विथ कापर वट इज दिस रियाक्शन ऑफ नाइट्रिक एसिड विथ मेटल ओके रियाक्शन ऑफ नाइट्रिक एसिड एच एन ओ थ्री विथ मेटल सो ड्यूरिंग दिस the copper metal reacts with nitric acid and produces copper nitrate cu no3 taken twice 3 moles of copper nitrate plus 4 moles of water plus so how many oxygens are completed just now 8 3s are 24 here 3 2 ja 6 3 18 18 plus 4. How many? So 18 plus 4, 22. But here 24. So the leftover are two n o two. So once again, let us compare. Let let us equally uh, let us balance the equation. How many eight nitrogens? But here three into two, six nitrogens, and here is two nitrogens. Where are eight three are twenty-four? Here is each nitro nitro group with three. How many nitros are there? Two total. Six six three are eighteen. Eighteen plus four twenty-two, and here is only two. That means the resulting product when copper reacted with nitric nitric acid produces nitrogen monoxide so once again the reaction of metals with nitrous nitric acid depends upon concentration of it depends upon 
depends upon concentration of nitric acid temperature and nature of chemical substance nature of chemical substance chemical substance that reacted with nitric acid so once again due to strong oxidizing character the nitric acid can oxidize different metals and non metals to explain the oxidizing capacity character of nitric acid so we are taking one more side heading that is reaction of nitric acid with metals so this reactions generally depends upon concentration of nitric acid next temperature of the reaction next nature of chemical substance which wants to react with nitric acid similarly when copper reacted with nitric acid hno3 so this time i would like to use dilute nitric acid in the above statement i want to use concentrated nitric acid then the resulting compound is cu no3 taken twice again the copper nitrate plus i want to use four moles of here four h2o two water molecules plus four uh, two moles of n2o so let us again uh, try to equilibrium this four three are twelve six plus two and here is two n2 no2 the total number of nitrogens and coppers and hydrogens oxygen must be equal to left of the arrow to right side of the arrow here one copper one copper here total number of uh, oxygens must be 12 right side six oxygens here two oxygens here and four oxygens here six plus two eight plus four so total 12 oxygens this is so which indicates that the same metal but what is the difference in two reaction in the first case we are using concentrated nitric acid in second case we are using dilute nitric acid this is the reason why when nitric acid reacts with metal it depends upon concentration of nitric acid temperature and nature of chemical substance which wants to react with nitric acid so next one one more reaction under same category that is reaction of nitric acid with metals let us state one more zinc also reacts with zinc is a metal it reacts with nitric acid and produces zinc nitrate no3 taken twice zinc nitrate plus water plus n2o so here we are using 10 moles of HNO3 and 5 moles of zinc it results as the formation of 5 moles of zinc nitrate and 5 moles of water and uh, 10 then we have to use nitrogen monoxide that's enough and the same in case we are using concentrated nitric acid in case of dilute nitric acid zinc is going to react with same nitric acid but the resulting nitric acid in dilute state produces zinc nitrate again zinc nitrate plus so here let us use four only then here four only now it will become same three moles of this or only nitric acid zinc when reacted with dilute hno3 it results as the formation of same zinc nitrate plus water plus nitrogen dioxide so just observe the two two reaction stated same metal atom but what is the difference concentration of hno3 different in one condition we are using concentrated hno3 in second condition we are using dilute hno3 then the resulting products are also same in first case we are we produce we are producing nitrogen monoxide 
by the reaction between copper and concentrated HNO3. At the same, the copper when reacted with dilute HNO3 produces nitrogen dioxide. So this is how concentrated and diluted nitric acids can react or can oxidize metal atoms. Similarly, one more reaction of nitric acid with non-metals. Reaction of nitric acid with non-metals. So, let us learn something here. The same like previous, like metals, nitric acid also oxidizes some non-metals. What are the non-metals generally oxidized by nitric acid? When nitric acid reacted with iodine, it oxidized to iodic acid. Iodic acid. Similarly, when it reacted with or HNO3 can oxidize carbon into carbon dioxide, sulfur into sulfuric acid, phosphorus into phosphoric acid, H3PO4. So let us have chemical reaction how nitric acid can oxidize this iodine when reacted with nitric acid it is converted into HIO3 plus water plus nitrogen oxides nitrogen oxides similarly we can extend something more here when the same nitric acid reacted with carbon it can oxidize carbon into carbon dioxide and when it reacted with sulfur sulfur molecule reacted with 48 number of nitric acids and produces h2so4 8 H2SO4 plus nearly 24 water molecule here. Whereas when it reacted with phosphorus, it reacts with phosphorus and produces H3PO4 plus water molecules. So this is. So we can write 48 minus 16. So 16 water molecules are results during the reaction. So this is about the reaction of nitric acid with non-metals and the previously explained one is reaction of metals with nitric acid. So this is the reactivity of nitric acid.